This video will explain why the following is happening and how to resolve the issue. So the user's password has expired. When they log in, they get an error message saying authentication failed, password must be changed, contact your administrator. We click OK and we are in a loop. The user can't get any further by themselves. If we log into the terminal server and press Control Alt Shift I, the info window pops up and we can see, looking up at the top, that we are using NLA. And the Windows Update Password Mechanism does not work through NLA, whether you're working on a terminal or a PC. So that is the obstacle, and there are several ways to work around that. The first way we'll look at involves turning off NLA for the initial logon negotiation during the password update and then resuming a TLS connection afterwards. So to set this up, on the terminal server you have to disable or untick this box here. So the boxes allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with NLA. So we have to allow computers to connect which are not running NLA. Next, next within the terminal configuration in additional parameters if we set the terminal to use NLA implicitly and then allow the password change without NLA option. So now when we log on we log on as usual the user's password must be changed before signing on so now although the terminal is configured to use NLA we're ducking out of using NLA and using a straightforward RDP connection password has been changed and we're in and if we press Control alt shift i we'll see that we are using SSL or TLS to connect so the security has not been compromised although we did stop using SSL for the duration of the password update mechanism. So that's one way of doing it and if you want the terminal server to authenticate the user then that's probably the best way to configure it. The second way is to use Active Directory and I'll reset everything back to factory defaults and run through how that's set up. OK, I've reset everything, so when we try to log on, we get the authentication fail, password must be changed. So now I will configure the terminal so it authenticates and the password management is managed by Active Directory rather than the terminal server. So to do this, we enter setup in network, Active Directory, we enter the details of the Active Directory, the domain name and the NTP server and we can click test and we should get today's date and time. Uh, if you don't then don't go any further you need to work out why that isn't working. So if I go into Network Active Directory then I'm unable to access the NTP server. That is because the terminal is expecting this parameter to be provided through DHCP and as this field is blank, my DHCP server is not delivering that parameter. So the solution is going to network, Ethernet parameters, um, DHCP parameters, and then these are the parameters which DHCP does deliver. Turn off NTP server. Quit out and save. So now DHCP is not providing the NTP server and I can enter my own details. In many cases it will be the domain controller but not necessarily. If in doubt put in the domain controller. Second step is in terminal security enable active directory you can put in a default username or not if you like. Then the third step 
and it seems convoluted because we want to give the maximum flexibility so we don't force every session to use Active Directory. If you go into session, pick our session, in authentication, single sign on Active Directory, set that to yes. So after reboot, we now see Active Directory here. So we know the terminal is authenticating against Active Directory and not the terminal server. We log in and it says, your password has expired or must be changed. Enter a new password in the following screen. So we're now connected. If we press Control, Alt, Shift, I, we can see we're using TLS or SSL for the RDP connection. And one thing to note is if we log out, the terminal is still authenticated against Active Directory and we can tell that by the icon up here. So if this user thought he'd now logged out and can go home and leave his machine securely, he's mistaken, somebody else can come along and click on the icon and they're in. So there are two comments to that. One is when he's logged out. So when he logs out, he must click on his icon and log off. So now the next user has to re-enter credentials or within the terminal configuration within terminal security with this parameter here no active sessions so after the last RDP or ICA session has been logged out of the terminal by default does nothing so we emulate a PC in that respect but it might be more intuitive for the terminal to either disconnect or shut down after the last session has been closed. So I'll leave it to disconnect. So now when the user logs in, they log in as usual, but when they log out, the terminal is left in a secure state. The final thing I'll show is how you can disable NLA altogether for the initial logon. So to do this, we need to enable non-NLA connections on the terminal server. So we need to ensure that this box here is unticked. And within the terminal configuration, within session, session 1, additional parameters, toggle NLA to RDP. Now bear in mind this is the minimum security level. So if the server insists on a higher level, then the terminal will still negotiate a higher level. So after a reboot, note that we get the standard Windows logon, not the Axel Blue logon screen, which is only required when we connect via NLA. User's password must be changed. So I'll enter a new password. The password has been changed. And we are in. I hope you found that relevant and interesting and if you have any questions or comments please contact your usual Axel contact. Thank you very much and bye for now.